All right, welcome to the Panther Pad Podcast. I am General Mike Payne with the original Black Panthers of VA, National General under King Rig, and I want to introduce my co-star. Lola Truitt. Lola Truitt. What's up? I'm doing really good. It's good to be back. I missed y'all guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great to have you. You know, we we missed you around here. You know, the, the energy. I know. It's just so much fun when I'm on here, even though I have to put a lot of money in the square jar. I'm working on that, guys. I'm sorry. It's okay. We saving up. We're doing well. We're doing well. You know, sometimes I don't give a fuck, but sometimes Ooh. I have to, you know? She don't give a fuck. Really give zero. Zero. Fucks. Fucks. All right, enough with the swear jar, enough with the swear jar. Let's get into it. We're going to talk about... Storming the Capitol. Storming the Capitol. And white privilege. Say it again. White privilege. Ooh, okay, all right. So, we saw a group of individuals that, you know, if it was us, they would have called us savages and... Terrorists. Terrorist monsters and whatever else. But we saw a group of individuals... Uh, storm, <laughs> storm the, the capital. Yeah, storm. Can we use the air quotes? Storm, storm the capital. Um, they were. It looked like they were let in. What do you think? I know they were let in because they saw an officer just letting them in, like they were just taking a tour. Yeah. And one, well, actually, four people did get shot. Was it four? It was four people. Hmm. It was the woman who tweeted. <clears throat> In her words, I quote, nothing can stop us now, hours before she was shot down. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Hey, keep it running. No empathy I'm there. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. But in a way, Khalid Muhammad said, oh. she should have been dug up and killed over again because she did die hard enough. Good gracious. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh. Rest in peace. But anyway, that goes to show you that there were certain privileges that were <laughs> that were revoked. Mm. Like, I don't know why they really thought that they could actually do that and nothing was going to happen. You know, so there's a few things they didn't even really mention in the news. Uh-oh, well, where would you get that from? That actually was a source that was on the news later, but it didn't come out that day. Okay. That was later mm -hmm. that came out. <sighs> yeah, these individuals stormed the Capitol, as they are, yeah, as they call it. Uh, yeah. But uh, they were women. Yeah, and um, the thing about that is, everybody wants to know what we thought about it, and uh, you know, I don't feel that we. I didn't have an issue with it. You know, I, I, I look at it like, you know, yes, yeah, the the chickens that come home to roost. I love as, that. As Brother Malcolm said. Yeah. Um, I look at it also as why would we care about an establishment that does not care about us? I don't care about a building that produces outcomes and laws that do not uh, favor us at all. Or apply to us, really. Or apply. Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> the fact that you know, you had these individuals attacking and tearing up their own shit. I don't care because, like I said, as a Democrat or a Republican, um, they've never favored us or never did anything uh, purposely but to you, affect us in know a something? positive way. So, yeah. But you know something I noticed? A lot of people are saying, well, where are the other, you know, pro-black groups? Why aren't they out here, you know? And my question is, why aren't they out there? Thank you. Where are they at? They ain't nowhere to be found. Yeah, people are calling us talking about where the path is. Why, why, why are we, why? What, what are we going to be doing out there? Don't, do, do that what? was just some white on white crime. Yeah, let it happen. You know, they, like, they let ours happen. Let it happen. You exactly. Know? That was some white on white crime. I'm not. That the police out there notice. Now, if you want to be real, let's be real. Mm -hmm. When we break the law and somebody is shot down, what is the first thing those people say? You tell me. They should have obeyed the law, mm. and they should have, you know, just abided by the rules, and that wouldn't have happened. And then victim, uh, victimize us. And, yes. Yeah. Criminalize us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But now when they're doing the same thing, the, that a few of those cops are assaulted and even hurt by some of those protesters, they don't look like they were obeying the law or being respectful. 
So, yeah, we, we um. Blue lives matter. Lives do not matter now. Yeah, I mean, where, where was all that at, you know? Blue lives matter for who? And, and, you know, normally when we have some type of protest or, or something that's well known and big like that, there's tear gas, there's, mm-hmm. you know, billy clubs, water hoses, hoses, whatever, dogs, dogs, the whole nine yards. None of this, none of this happened. I mean, it, it was ridiculous. But, um, you know, and now they're talking about they're looking for people with facial recognition and looking for all these people. Look, half of them are all over Facebook bragging about that they did it. Yeah. Um, and the FBI is asking for help to find them. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Really, it's, you know, really it, 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 it's, it's almost uh, comical to, to sit here and even go through all that. But um, because you had Congress people's children out there, the adult children the whole, out there, yeah. part of it. So they already know who they are. And I, per- I really think this was purposely allowed to happen because of the outcome of the election. I really feel that way. Yeah, you know? I, I didn't, you know, I didn't mind seeing what was going on because, you know, it looks staged though. Yeah, and, it, it, and even if it wasn't, it, even if it wasn't, I, I'll, you know, cool, let, let them tear up. When we have rioting or looting, as they would say, uh, in mm-hmm. our own communities, and we tear up our own shit, you know, they always, they always <laughs> asking why, well, why they say they tear up their own shit, you know, well, why you gotta tear your own shit up? Exactly. Why so, you do that? It, it's a. Uh, <laughs> It is what it is, yeah. and that's my stance on it. I really don't care uh, about yeah. about establishments that do not represent um, or, or leave out black people. So, at the end of the day, hey. Good job, guys. Good job. You I'm know. proud of y'all for brassing up your own stuff. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah so it's all good. Um, we're going to go to the next topic. Let's go to the next topic. Okay, so our next topic was talking about... How taxpayers, I feel taxpayers mm-hmm. should have got more on the stimulus because that is our money that basically runs this country. Okay. I per, I personally feel that because without taxpayer money, we wouldn't have different programs we have. So you're saying we should have gotten more with the stimulus? Yes. A right. lot of people feel that. The 600 was not enough, even though Trump was trying to push for that. Mm-hmm. You had... Bitches like Mitch McConnell out there saying, no, they're okay with the 600, but they were about to spend all this money on furniture for what they wanted, for their, you know, offices and things of that nature with our money. So if Trump could get you a better amount, would you vote for him? No, I'll just take that money, though. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for running me my money, but no. Okay. All right, look. I, I I mean I think it always could be more, um, mm-hmm. but I, I I really it's great to always get extra money. It does. I I don't I don't I don't really care about what the amount is. Uh, whatever whatever they give is what they give. No. Um, uh, it's just my opinion. I, yeah. I I personally don't I don't care because I I I truly feel. That we should align ourselves in the position to do things for ourselves to where we don't have to worry about what they give us. I mean, to me, it's just another government program. To me, it's just another, you know, uh, handout from the government. Um, And we need to get to a point where we're not uh, always looking for what the government can do for us. Yeah, I'm not in my infancy. I don't want to be the type that's going to consistently look for the government to feed me. I I want to be at a feed myself Mm -hmm. and teach anybody around me to do the same to where they don't have to accept anything from them because uh as we know they mean us no good right so i mean that that's how i look at it no i do agree with you on that but i was thinking about a lot of the people that were affected by covid Mm -hmm. and how they had businesses shut down this whole situation really caused a lot of people to have to file bankruptcy a lot of people just can't make it off 600 because they got bills that are like way more than that. Absolutely. But what amount could they give someone to actually pay bills? Because well, Canada, even even in 600, you know, okay, cool. But let's let's go with the first amount they gave us. You know, that's yeah. not enough. But think about I mean, that. I don't I don't think for most businesses. Mostly, Canada 
is actually giving their citizens like something a thousand or something more a month. So would you rather have that or reparations? Well, you already know I want the reparations. You so, already know that. I mean, so we know what they could do, but they won't. They don't. We got so this is why, it, it, right? So this is why I don't. I don't. I don't care. I don't. I don't care about anything they give. You know. It, it, you know, whatever, take it, cool. But I don't at any point in time want to depend on it. We are, we are the most creative people on the earth. We really and are. Uh, as you can see, a good number of entrepreneurs have been um, coming out uh, consistently now, you know, mm -hmm. since COVID. And I'm not saying everybody can do that. And yes, people have lost businesses and all that is, is horrible. Um, but we have to find ways to bounce back, get on our feet. Um, and, and do what we have to do in order to survive uh, the hardships. Just like, for instance, if we were looking at integration, you know, mm -hmm. it would have been harder for us to survive during the time of integration if we would not have integrated. You know, if we would have just kept all of our own businesses. And of course, they weren't making as much money as the, the, the white establishments. But if we would have kept those things, we would have owned those things. And we and would still have them. True. But we would have to make it through a period of... Uh, 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 hard times and pressure. So I'm saying this is a period of hard time and pressure. We have to make it through it mm -hmm. and stop still. Don't take it or take whatever they give you, use it cool and, mm -hmm. and bounce back. Just start a business. Absolutely. Or, or do whatever. Uh, yeah. Whatever whatever you do, but just, just maintain somehow. You uh, keep your head above water or bounce back, lose, come back, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You know, like they always say, it's not about how many times you get knocked down, but how many times you can you get, get back up. up. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's just my stance on it. You know, I, I just I, I don't want to get it to where, you know, I at any time tell our people we should be waiting for or depending on or hoping for. I'm tired of doing all that. We have exactly. to do it for ourselves. But I agree with you when it comes to that. I was just thinking about all the Americans that desperately really needed that money. Absolutely. To really help them come through, you know. I just really felt that that was like a spin in the American people's face. Yeah, they do it all the time, though. Yeah. yeah. But it was shocking to see how bold and brazen they were about it. Like, plus they were giving immigrants more money than American citizens. And mm -hmm. they even pointed that out. You know, Trump kind of put them out for that, what they were really doing with the money. And, you know, I felt that he, you know, we should have got that. But anyway... I do agree that we do need to become more codependent as well, but I'm just thinking about the people that are really hurting. That's why I said that. Point taken. Yeah. So uh, I agree with you. We're just, I agree with you with what you said as well, but I still feel that we should have got that money. And I'm happy got that they- Got that money. I'm happy they wrecked Nancy Pelosi's house and went after Mitch McConnell too. They did what now? They actually put a pig- head on Nancy Pelosi's um, porch with, with blood on it. Oh, wow. And they actually sprayed on Mitch McConnell's house, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> they misspelled where's. They said, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> Read me my money, Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> I would have wrote that. Yeah. Read me my money. <laughs> but, yeah, that happened. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, uh, I believe that's our show. That's our time. So let's do it. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe to the Panther Pad podcast. And don't forget this. What's up? If you want to support us, mm, you yeah. can Thank always you. donate to our cash app dollar sign O B P V A. We're always taking donations. Whatever you decide to give is greatly appreciated. Absolutely. And look, you know, we do this podcast, we give our thoughts, we give our views. Sometimes we, you know, like to have a lot of fun with you guys. So, you know, for those that are offended, just be offended. Okay? Just be offended. It's okay. Be mad. It's okay. It's okay if you're mad. Yeah, we like to draw emotions, you know? It's always good. So, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. And we will be back Friday, 7 p.m., Right. Oh uh, yeah. Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. YouTube and Facebook. Oh, and we'll be there. I'm ready to die about any words that I say. You hide behind politics and do it myself. What do y'all think? Should we be on Instagram? IG? Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Comments and all that. You know? So, 
All right, so we're out of here. Catch you later. All power to the people. people. Cool.